Yo, what's popping? You sometimes me, sometimes rain. <laughs> yes. Hello, rain. Hi. Wow, she's looking fire with that necklace on. Look at that. Oh, you like that? Thank oh you. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How was your Look. Saturday today? We're trying to get hype. That's right. I'm looking for the wide though on that. <laughs> uh, I know, right? <laughs> He's listening What's to the music. Yeah, yeah. I'm just uh, finna get it in. No, no introduction and all, right? Uh -huh. You know, we got the grand surgeon up in the building. Yes, surgeon. Straight from yeah. New York City, Brooklyn, New York, my man. DJ Livewise, you from BK too, right? Boom, boom, boom. You already know, man. You already know. We holding it down. Yeah. He comes on the West Coast. Yeah. That's right, my brother. <laughs> Got my man, yeah. MC Noise, he's in San Bernardino. So, you know, I, I'm pretty familiar with that. You know what I'm saying? That's dope, okay. that's dope. That's yes, it, yes, y'all. Like the single. To the beat, <laughs> Chuck. <laughs> Grand Surgeon is up in the building. Let uh -huh. the people know what you've been up to, Grand Surgeon. What's new, man? Yeah. Oh, just doing my thing, you know what I'm saying? Staying relevant, doing some, you know, I'm known for collaboration, so I'm doing a lot of collaborations. Okay. Got a couple of singles coming out. We just dropped the be uh, Bad Boy with Cutsy Ronks. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So that that joint's popping right now. I believe you know, Bad trying you know trying to push it out there in the radio more, and okay. uh, you know just doing our thing, man. A lot of work, a lot of work going on. You know, Cutty Ranks. That, that's Cutty a heavy. Ranks. Have you know about Cutty Ranks? You yeah. know Cutty Ranks? Uh -huh. Yeah. Living by him. He's got some fire. He's been dropping fire for years. That's what's up. How did you collaborate with that? You know, just it, being around hip hop for years. You know, I started out uh, probably 1984, 85. I was originally a B boy. You know, okay. my crew and all, we were B boys. And uh, we went to the Beach Street, to the Roxy's film, filming. And, you know, we jumped in the scene with the, with the break dancing between the, the battle scene. We were in that, you know, in the crowd. So okay. I've been in this way back, you know what I'm saying? Okay. You got the history. Yeah. Okay. B Street, break it. Were you on the cardboard doing the break dance and all that? Yo, we didn't even use cardboard right on the concrete. You know what Ooh, I'm saying? Wow. <laughs> That's our cool. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's back in That's the how day. how it was back then, you know? <laughs> or a piece of linoleum or something. Oh, it was nice and sli dope. slippery, you know? That's dope. That's dope. So all your life you've been into hip hop? All my life, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, I remember back in like, I'll be honest with you, man, I'm older than probably most of them, you know, but I remember like 1975 on the block in, in Brooklyn at Park Slope, the cats oh. used to pull out their sets and plug them into the street lamps, you know what I'm saying? Right. They would be spinning, but it was disco back then. It was disco beats. So they would rock break beats and disco beats. And then get on the mic and do some like, you know, one, two, one, two. No, no real rapping, you know what I mean? Yeah. More like emceeing. So that's where I was a little kid then, but I've always been in it, man. It's in my blood, you know what I'm saying? So that's how it is, you know? What's some of your favorite MCs? Wow. Uh, I go way back. Uh, Spoonie G, I did a track with. One of the, yes, first, yes, solo, one of the first solo MCs. That's right. Uh -huh. and, that's the uh, godfather of hip hop. Basically, correct. Yes, yes. The first solo MC, right, on a record, right. I mean, of course, you know, Sugar Hill Gang, uh, Grandmaster Flash, Curtis Blow. You know what I'm saying? Let me turn this phone off, no disrespect. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've been in the game a long time, man. You wow. I mean? That's good. Pioneers. So how do you keep yourself relevant and still keep that same love for hip hop? Look, it's it's in my heart. So I just keep I just get busy, man. I collab with a lot of people, producers, DJs, rappers, you know what I'm saying? Even younger cats, you know, they like they like my stuff. So I'll do some tracks with them, you know what I'm saying? I might not have the same flow as as, as they have, but I learn and I adapt quick because when you're an MC, you could flow off any beat. You know what I'm saying? You don't yeah. it don't gotta be a particular style. You know what I mean? You just gotta freestyle. That's it. So, you know, I just keep it moving like that, you know? A true MC. That's what's up. When did you first fall in love with hip hop? Wow, I must have been about probably like nine, 10 years old. Okay. You know, you know what's funny? My sister, she used to have a, 
one of those record players. It wasn't a system, it was just a record player. Mm-hmm. And I remember getting this album. I don't know if you remember the KTEL records. Oh. They were like, they were the cheap 33. So on this, I remember this particular album had uh, Queen on there. It had uh, Another One Bites of Dust. It had some other stuff. I think it had a Curtis Blow record on there. And okay. I used to go and scratch it up. And my sister used to try to beat me for, for breaking up <laughs> turntable, you know? <laughs> so that's how, you know, that's how it all started. You know what I mean? That's what started. Yeah, that's so okay. that's how, you know. Okay. What does the future hold for you? Since you were OG, triple OG. Word. Like I said, I'm just doing my music. Uh, I got a a little thing going on right now with this group called The Supreme Team. Mm -hmm. From uh, they're actually from UK, but they spit fire, man. They're they're like a whole unit. Like they got DJs, MCs, and you know they're trying to get signed right now. They got a lot of good material. Um, Like I said, I got a couple of tracks lined up. I really don't want to say names because. I'm in the middle of trying to like figure stuff out, but you'll be hearing from me soon. You know what I mean? Yeah, and of course, yeah. I slide you everything, you know, from the jump. You know what I mean? Right, right off the rip. So. Yeah, we love those. It's uh, on the phone. Yes. Bam. Love that. The the yeah, the grand. Right. They coming through, showing love. Give it gifts. Yeah, I know. On a Saturday. I love that. <laughs> yeah, my man got that energy though, and, and and you you both together make a great team. You know what I'm saying? Thank yeah, you, man. Yeah. Thank so you. I, great it's a compliment really for me to be in your presence. You know what I'm trying oh, to say? That's sweet. Yeah, that's what's yeah, up. Yeah, definitely. And I know the history. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, I've been following the Grand Church for a while. Yeah. Yeah. What's your favorite? Oh, I like the jam with him and Rusty Jokes. Uh-huh. That's oh, how man, I, oh, I heard yeah. that one. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I played it. I played. I'm gonna play it again. You played a couple of them. Yeah, that's my man, Rusty. Man, yeah, definitely. We got a bunch of tracks. We got like five tracks. That got five. Yeah. Wow. We got like five or six. I got one I didn't even release yet. I should release that one. That's another one I should release. Yeah. I'm Uh, telling you, I got them stacked up. I'm, you know, I'm just ready to drop stuff. You know. Yeah, yeah. That's That's how it is. Uh, Who are you releasing with? Say that. Well, I'm independent, but my distribution is Rough Rough House, Rough North Nation Records. Okay. You know what right. I'm saying? So they distribute my music. So. Nice but I'm independent, deal. all all in house. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what's up. You know that's the deal. Dope. You know the deal. Uh-huh. What producers yeah, are you yeah. with right now? I'm working with LG Rock, uh-huh. who's actually DJ Premier last week. Shout out to Mountains, called them the most underrated underground producer right now. Oh, wow. So that's Super a good cool. look for him. You know what I'm saying? My man, LG Rock. If you look him up, he's got a lot of music. Okay. Uh, who else? I got P. Sways, my man, P. Sways. We did an album. It's funny because the album dropped right before COVID. Mm-hmm. If you go check that album, it's called The Two Witnesses. I don't know if I slid any of them to you, but and everything on there is like prophetic, man, because everything on there is what's happening now. It's crazy. Man. You got to listen to that album. Okay. All right. cool. I believe music, music holds a lot of messages. Yeah. Like when you watch the regular news, you get the watered down, you know, the BS. But when exactly. you listen to good music and movies, that's when you get all the problems. You know, that's all what the it is. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So yeah. that's one. So you got Peace Ways, LG Rock. A bunch of people. Il Majestic did a lot of my work. Big Bob from Canada. I think he was rated like number one hip hop producer underground in Canada a couple of years ago. He was at the Canadian Music Awards. Okay. So, you know, a bunch of people. All right. Look, if people have good music, if I could rock off that beat, you know what I'm saying? I'm down to do something. So it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Okay. What type of beats do you look for, Grant? Mm-hmm. Well, Coming from the old school, I'm not an old school rapper, but I know what real hip hop sounds like. You know what I'm saying? It's just the vibe. It's the it's the beat. It's the vibe. You know what I'm saying? It's that rhythm in there, that, that groove. Yeah. So anything that's like break oriented or just just popping, you know, bopping anything. You know what I'm saying? I could jump on any track fast, slow, whatever it is. You know what I mean? OK. How you select the artists that you feature either on or you go and get them to feature on your music? Basically, I will feature on, but mostly I like to be like the scout. You know what I'm saying? I like to scout out people that I can see have talent. 
and that are starting to pop. That way, you know what I'm saying? We could get them moving and get them, get them into the game faster. Because uh-huh. there's a lot of dope rappers out there. There's a lot of dope rappers. And, you know, with the way that the game is, there's no, there's no way to really be known, like, to be heard. Unless, you know, people like yourselves. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That independent outlet. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. So it's, it's all about marketing. You know what I mean? It's all about marketing. But I, you know, I I rock with anybody that's that got a dope flow, man. That that's that's doing something. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's popping. That's what's yeah. up. Okay. What's your five year goal? Uh-huh. Five year. Five year is to have my own label, mm-hmm. and be you know producing and and creating a network of of entertainers. You know what I'm saying? Rappers, even you know any anything involved in hip hop. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That that's the goal. That's the goal right now. You holding that baton for real? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's holding that baton. I'm proud of you, man. All the hard work in the building, bro. Lyricism and all that good stuff. Who would yeah. play? Who would play you in your life movie? In my life movie? Yeah. I don't know. My little cousin, my little nephew, Mike. Who would play me? He's like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever, I don't know. I don't even know who's out there. I don't really be watching movies like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. I'm into the music, you know? Okay. Facts, facts. Movie man. Yeah. Music man. Yeah. yeah. Word. Yeah. Grand surgeon. Grand surgeon. Word. Yeah. Uh-huh. Who I say top three influences in your life as far as um, hip hop is concerned? Top three. I would say... I'll take it all the way back. I can't lie. Curtis Blow from okay. the jump, okay. right? Then you got Rakim. Okay. And later on, you know, it's hard for me to say because there's so many dope MCs, but I, I got to shout Big Pun. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I, I actually, I lived in the Bronx for many years too. I'm from Brooklyn originally, but okay. Big Pun was like the master of that lyrical flow. You yeah. know what I mean? And he had talent and he had skills and he had also a good character, you know what I'm saying? So those would probably be the top three. Facts, facts. Now, what do you think about, since you mentioned Big Pun, Mm -hmm. what do you think about his son? His son is uh, currently rapping as well. His son has got fire though, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. His son got fire. I don't know, but I don't know if the marketing is out. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But he definitely, he has skills, definitely has skills. A little different than his father, Mm -hmm. but, you know, all in all, he's he's unique, you know what I'm saying, in his own way, you know what I'm saying? Because he has that that breed, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, he's, he's dope, he's dope. Definitely. Yeah, in his eyes. Yeah, yes, yes, y'all. Yeah. Y'all make sure y'all go pop that and stream it on all digital platforms mm-hmm. with the godfather of hip hop. That's what's up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we're all over the place, man. We're all over the place. I don't know. You heard the blessings. I, that's another track with Cuddy Ranks, KRS One. That was a few years yes. ago. Yes, yes. Uh, you passed that to me, and I was blessed to actually break that on the live while you're ready. That's show. right. That's right. I remember that. That's yes. right. Cool yeah. looking, cool looking man. That was a big record too, man. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Most deaf. Yep. Big record. I see. I seen uh, KRS One bodyguard at the Barclays at the Yo MTV rap, mm-hmm. and he was he was playing that song. Wow, that's hot. Yeah, yeah. See, that's what it is, you know? Right outside the bar played. It, yo, it was hot. Most deaf, most deaf. Yeah. I mean, Tragedy Gaddafi, shout out. I got a bunch of joints with him. You know, uh, there's also another joint with Gorilla Nems that I dropped. Shoot back. You know, we both from Brooklyn, I, from from the, almost the same areas. I, okay. I'm pretty sure I passed that to you, too. Yes, yes. You know, that's the I big bomb guy, you know what I'm saying? I got the yeah. video. So I played yes, the video yes. as well. Word, that, that's what's up. That's what's up. What's it? What's it? It's Nims. It's Nims. It's, it's right here. Nims. Okay. But Will and Nims, that he's got that Bing Bong going right now. Bing oh. Bong. <laughs> I was seeing it. Yet. I was seeing it. It's, it's definitely unique. I'm gonna take it's getting hot in here. If you uh get it hot in here, it's getting hot in here. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, <laughs> yeah. I heard you singing too, though. That was something else. I was listening to your YouTubes. Uh-huh. Who? You, uh huh. 
Oh, Rain, that? Rain Jackson. Oh, oh, really? oh, you sing too. Yeah. You uh, say two uh, live lives. Uh, I didn't know, but Twitter, Twitter, friend. Yeah, he be trying to, but yeah, I do. Like, I got a couple of albums out. Um, this my first album. My full debut album, Raindrops Some More, was part of a three, uh, you know, three part series. Was, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's nice, nice. That. Yeah, man. Maybe uh, we could collab one day. You never know, right? It. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's, let's do, do it. it. I'm down. See, right there. Yeah. Right, right ah, the network, network. network. That's the key. That's the key. Yeah. That's that's the network. Yep. I love to collab. You know, I, I, I do some rhyming and I do some singing and you know we do I just I'm a music lover so it don't really matter what what genre you what do. genre right exactly that's how it is yeah 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 you're a real musician you know you can go anywhere pretty much so but yeah. um yeah I just released a single I'll be on on the um all gas fire flame album nice. a couple, was a couple of weeks ago yeah, a couple of weeks ago yeah. it's out right now streaming on all digital platforms yeah and I make sure y'all wow. Stream that, yep. like, share, follow, you know, yeah, wow. It's got the original Brooklyn Zoo on there. Um, oh, that's that's dope, yeah. The original. Um, original Brooklyn got, Zoo. Uh, one of the, the West Coast Dons, Los Angeles, Ruthless Records on there. Okay. Okay. Is on there yeah. with enemies, enemies uh -huh. all around me. Yeah, yeah. Lizzie Liz is on there. Yep, yep. It's that's hard. funny. You know who? You know who hit me up the other day? Aladdin, DJ Aladdin. Wow. He was like, yo, yo, you got some fire music. I was like, thank you, my man. You know, I always I always appreciate, especially when the pioneers and the legends hit you up. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, yeah. that's, that's the best one. Yeah, I'd be honest. And I want to shout out also Silver Fox. You, you just remember Fantasy 3? Uh-huh. The cartoon? It's your rock. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, the beat don't stop. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm doing a joint with him. I, I, I'm pretty sure it's on his album that's coming out. Uh, yeah, he, he put me on. He put me on one of the songs. You know what I'm saying? Okay, we gotta look yeah, out. Yeah, we gotta look definitely. So you, you still, you still keep your surroundings and your close knit with a lot of pioneers. Mm -hmm. Oh, definitely, definitely. That's I mean, it. for the fact that I'm, you know, I'm older than most of the rappers now. You know, mm -hmm. so you know, like I said, I, I could flow with anybody, but. To keep it real, you know, that's my, that's my uh, conscious, you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm, yeah. I come from the beginning. It's hard. I ain't going to front and act like I'm from this era because I'm not. Right. You know right. what I'm trying to say? Gotcha. I can build with you. I can work with you. I can rock with you. But my foundation is, is, is original, like a pyramid. I'm at the base of the pyramid. You know what I'm trying to say? Got you, got you. That's really popular, you know. It, it, uh, the popular opinion is that people are missing the old school hip hop mm. and the original hip hop, and you know it's not enough of it right. out there. And so uh, I encourage the established artists to, you know, keep making music because it, it can't change if we don't change it. Exactly right. Ah, June one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it's true though, you know. But like I said, everything has a foundation. If you don't know your past, how are you going to know where you're going in the future? You know that, what I'm trying to say? So yeah, that's, that's how I look at it. Number two. Number two. Number two. Taking knowledge around here. Going to Saturday, they're taking uh, knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> word, word. Let's, let's check out, let's see. What's your, we on um, Facebook, Instagram. I, I got caught up in um, Facebook, Instagram, IG, IG, IG Twitter. Pandora, Spotify, our heart, uh -huh. Amazon, our heart. You got it. Follow, subscribe, hey, hit guys. that notification bell. Hello. Yeah, yeah, we're live. Yeah, we got the grand surgeon up in the building. Uh -huh. yeah. Yes, yes, y'all. Already know. I see. We're live. What's up? Talk to me. I talk back. I see y'all. Facebook and uh, Instagram. We got the grand surgeon uh -huh. up in the building. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Shout it, out. Shout out. Facebook, uh -huh. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And then you got everything on all, all of the uh <clears throat> all of the different sites, man. You know, like yeah. you said, like Livewire said, Amazon, Spotify, yeah. iHeartRadio, Apple, iTunes, you know what I'm saying? Boom, play, title, everywhere. We're everywhere. 
No. Yes. Wherever you at, take us with you. Where can we find you on uh, the Grand Facebook? Surgeon? On Facebook is is uh, the Grand Surgeon. Okay. Uh, basically, type if you type in Grand Surgeon, they all pop up. You know what I'm saying in Google and okay. a search. So you could catch me on Instagram at Real Grand Surgeon. That's where I probably you know put the most stuff up on during the day because it's easy. You just pop it in. You know what I'm saying? That's right. That's right. We go. Direct live and direct. Okay, we just you know did. Hey, yeah, Grand Surgeon, I'm gonna, I'm looking you up and I'm gonna tag you in. That's what's up. That's what's up. Facebook, Rain Jackson, R A Y N. Jackson. I got you. Yeah, yeah. Got That's, you. I'm, I'm, I'm honored to collab with the OG Triple OG. Triple likewise, OG. Likewise. <laughs> <laughs> the Golden Arrow. Boom. Yeah. The OG. No question, though. <laughs> From that era, how, uh, how should I put this? Mm -hmm. What do you feel is different from the golden era of hip hop to recent? The golden era of hip hop was more, <clears throat> in my opinion, the golden era, it was newer. So it was more of a, a variety of different styles of different concepts, of different topics. You know what I'm saying? You had like your Big Daddy Canes who was smooth, but at the same time, you know, they, they were street hard. Then you had like KRS-One dropping, you know, knowledge. You know what I mean? You had Stetsasonic just, just boom bapping, you know what I'm saying? So now it's, it's so commercialized in a lot of sense yeah. that everybody's almost, to me at least, is almost the same in a way. You know what I'm saying? I'm not dissing anybody. I respect everybody. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's making money. But if, if you're asking me that question, the difference is, is that it kind of moved away from original hip hop, which is fine. That's life. That's music. We all, we all change and elevate. You know what I'm saying? But some of the stuff is like crazy. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it depends on who and what. God bless. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, getting, it's getting commercial, commercialized. Yeah, yeah. When it really just started, you know, it started in the hood. It started. Oh, in the hood. <laughs> it's getting hot up in here. It's getting hot. Yeah, it's getting hot. It's because That's the live wire is burning. You know, it's, it's crazy because times change, mm -hmm. and back in the days, an MC you had to be original. You couldn't sound like. The next MC, else. yeah. Let alone bite their exactly. lips or have somebody ghostwrite for you. Uh -huh. That that wasn't a part of the culture. Now it's more Never. like sound like this person because that person sells. Exactly, yeah. exactly. It's it's like that's the, that's the my more, point. The more original you are, the more people don't want it. Should I say mm -hmm. they rather take exactly. it out? And do the copycats. Yeah, they're, they're like, right. They want to clone the ne the last star. Want to be a clone of the next star. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. You got to have more originality. You got to have more creativity. I'm not saying that they're not, you know, doing their thing. You know what I'm saying? But I've seen from the beginning till now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm trying to say? You know the deal. Yeah, so, they're just trying to just try to duplicate what sells instead of. Right, exactly, exactly. That's why underground hip hop is the best because you yeah. get you get the real the realness. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you get the real, real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So now, now I hit pick with another one. Now we're gonna stick with the golden era, right? Uh -huh. Here goes the question of the day for the grand surgeon: uh -huh. a versus terrorist one, daddy O. Ooh, that's a hard one, man. Yo, you know what? They're too different to me. They're too different to really compare in a sense. So Daddy O for me would be more of like a, a live type MC, you know, live and, and, and party rocking and all that. Mm -hmm. KRS, you know, of course, is the teacher. So, you know, I'm, I'm not going to give it to any one of them, you know? Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ah, but that's hard but though. Yeah, that's how he did a verse a versus didn't Yeah, he did, he did a versus against um Big Daddy Kane. Who was that? Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, Big Daddy Kane. Yeah, Big Daddy Kane. But if you ask me now, your opinion on that, my opinion is 
Big Daddy Kane took that. Yeah. Now I like Karis One. I go all the way back to Karis One since uh uh-huh. Funky Slice, since uh Slam, right. since B Boy. Oh, Rex. Funky Slice, you serious? Yeah. Uh, that's where we started recording. I've been <laughs> Funky Slice Firehouse, all that. That was my old stomping grounds, D and D Studios. Oh, that's crazy, man. Yeah, man. Little gonna, Rascals. I started in the industry at eleven years old. Wow, bro, that's crazy, yeah. Little Rascal Studio, Mikey D used to go there. And Van Wick, you remember that joint, right? Yo, I remember Funky Slice, man, that we used to call this dude, um, Mr. Chi Wu, we used to call him, the Chinese dude, on the engineer behind the boards. He was nasty, bro. He had the SP-1200, the, the 808, he had everything, B. He used to do cuts, too. He was nasty on the, on the turntables. Um. Yep. Funky, that's going back like 87. You used to go to Funky Slice. You remember that old broken down elevator? <laughs> oh, I used to take the stairs, bro. <laughs> that was right by Obi Square Mall. Straight up. Right up the block. Right up the block. Yes, that's indeed. Crazy. Think about the Coogee rap. Uh, Roxanne, Sean K, uh, Foxy Brown, a.k.a. Inga. All of them used to record out of there, man, on a regular that's basis. Right. That's right. You know what's funny though, man? Do you remember DNA Hank Love? The radio yeah. show? DNA, no. Yeah, it was on after the Awesome 2 on 105.9. It was on the weekend. Remember the Awesome 2? They used to break all the new records late at night. Right. That's how I got on. My crew was King Staff. They did a contest. We sent the demo in. This is like 87. Mm. And they picked us and we got signed on to a label, Majestic Music. They did, uh, they were the rapping Duke. That was the group that did the rapping Duke. Da ha, da ha. Yeah, yeah. That's right. <laughs> they put us, that's right. They put us on first. So that's how I really got the jump on. But how I really got into hip hop was at the Latin Quarters. Mm. Me and my brother went there, right? And Dana Dane and Busy B was chilling in the, in the, on the, you know, in the crowd. And they were like, yo, we're going to have a cypher. We jumped on stage and Dana Dane loved it, bro. He was like, yo, you got, you two got to keep rapping, man. This is like 85, bro. Wow. You know I got a history, bro. I got a history, you know? You can tell. Yeah. So, so you was around when the tunnel was open. Maria Davis had a bar 85 right around the corner from the tunnel. You had the home base, the muse, uptown car. That's right. Home base, the muse. Yep. That's right. The art yep. in Flatbush. Mm-hmm. That's right. The heavy hitter. Uh, yep. The roller rink on Empire. Empire Boulevard, the roller rink. That's right. The Empire Roller Rink. That's that was right. a crazy it's place, bro. Different that was on Empire and Rogers. That's right. That's right. Empire and Rogers. Yeah. That's what that was. The B44. That's right. That's right. I'll tell you another spot. TTO <laughs> Studio. You remember mm-hmm. TTO with Coney Island? Okay. Okay. That so was- you know Tony T from Coney Island? Tony and Tony and Oswald, bro. I was in the put it this way. <laughs> I was in the building. I was in the studio with my crew when when he was creating "Girl, I'll House You." All right, mm-hmm. and we and he asked us, "Yo, how does this sound?" And he was like, dun, 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 dun. and we was like, "Yo, that's fire!" You know what I'm saying? And yo, that that's how far back we go. Actually, you know what I'm saying? Jungle Brothers, my man Gunny. I know all of them, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's how far back I go, bro. Actually, Search put us on, too. Remember oh, MC Search? Third base. Third base, MC Search. That's on, too. Word? That's crazy, bro. If it wasn't yeah. for Nas, I mean, if it wasn't for him and, uh, what was it, Main Source. Main, Main Source, Large Pro in them. That's right. Mikey D, Those yeah. are the two that put Nas on. Right. Exactly. At the barbecue. Live at the barbecue. That's right. Word. Yeah, we go way back, bro. You that's know how Brooklyn was back in the day, man. Come on, man. All day. <laughs> all day, man. If you had lyrics, you go out there, four in street, or you hit Queens at the Coliseum. That's yeah. right. The Coliseum. Yeah. Right, and man. Dude. You had uh, DJ Kicker Free. Uh, Mixtapes used to go for $50 a pop. That's DJ- right. Came a little bit after. You had DJ Ron G. 
Yeah. Mom G. Yeah. And then they used, that's right. And used to record those demos in that in the Coliseum. Facts. You know, go in the booth and spit. And they used to hook them up real quick on the eight track. You remember the make it or break it? Yeah, that was crazy, bro. That was crazy. <laughs> different areas, man. Different areas, different essence of uh, hip hop, the culture in general, man. That's right. That's right. Culture, right. Man. Yo, a lot Yo, of people didn't me. make it to see this day right here. For sure, for sure. I mean, like I said, I'm the last one really standing out of the group that I was in, man. You know, I'm, I'm saying we had like four or five MCs, and, and right now, honestly, Nobody's in the, you know, in the game no more. So I'm trying to keep it alive. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Whatever happened to them, that's their thing. You know what I mean? But I'm just, I keep it going, bro. I got love for it. Like you, you know what I'm saying? I got love for it. You that's, know? Well, you ain't trying. You definitely doing it, man. Dropping his the way you dropping them. Come word, on. Word. It's no question. Word, word. Sleep, eat, and breathe hip hop. Yes. That's it. That's what it is. That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. Look at your hand if you love hip hop. The way we love hip hop. Yeah. Word, word. <laughs> love on radio. So serious TV. We up in the building. It's Saturday and it's hype. We it's got the grand surgeon up there. Word. Yeah. 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 I can't wait to do something. With rain, man. I gotta try. I gotta send her a beat or something, some music. <laughs> Lights, camera, action. All day long. Yeah. We're in the studio right now. So, yeah. Just do it. Just do it. Send it to me. I'll send it back to you. you know, it's all love. It's all love. Yeah. yeah. I appreciate Just you. Just gonna take it. Stopping by the Live Wires radio show studio. We're live. In Maryland, California. I mean, Marysville. I said Marysville. Yeah, Marysville. Yeah. Is that north? Is that north or central? Where is that? Back in the studio. It's it's closer north. It's closer to northern. It's a little bit past the valley. Oh, okay. Yeah, California is beautiful, though. I heard. I, you know, I'm saying for my boy that's out there. He's yeah. actually away right now, but you know, he lived in San Bernardino. He loved the weather. Oh, it's yeah. like perfect weather. He said, you know. Or no snow. Yeah. No snow. Hell no. No. You no sure snow. about that? No. <laughs> you never know. You never know. I can talk. Uh, <laughs> your man's laughing over there, man. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm joking, B. Yeah, yeah, you gotta go to Reno. To, yeah, you know, gotta go to Nevada the next next date to get the snow, but it's around. It's close. That's All right, right. So let's dig into a little bit of politics. COVID nineteen season two. Uh -oh. Are you getting that shot or not? You know what? Anybody that don't get the shot, fifty five federal agencies are following. What? So I'd rather just keep my mouth quiet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Uh, and that and that's facts. That's facts. Yeah, he knows a little something. Something. That's facts. Okay. That's facts, right there. Have you heard about people walking around uh, in the bubble and paying for air? Have you heard of that? That I haven't heard of. What's what's up with that one? Okay, what they're trying to do is the same way it started with the. Um, with the water, how water used to be free and now you have to pay for water because most of the water that's in your local faucet mm -hmm. has ingredients that shouldn't be in your body, like exactly. drugs, all right? And it's setting and stuff like that, just like the chemtrail. Um, their plans in the future is, instead of having people wear masks, right? Now you have to walk within a bubble. This COVID oh, stuff crazy. is never oh. going to let up. Yo, like New York crazy, City man. is the testing site. The country is never going to let up. Certain other, other states it will open up, but that's ground zero over there. And they're going to want people to walk around in a bubble. Only way you don't have to walk around in that bubble if you're part of the quote unquote higher ups. Wow, that's crazy, man. 
Yo, I'm gonna bust that bubble, man, because I ain't. You remember that movie, The Point of Bubble? Yes, I do. John Travolta. Yeah. We'll be wearing. If you go wow. Google it, if you go Google it, you'll see it. They got pictures already prepared that shows the people walking in the bubble down the street. The only people you don't see in the bubble is the law enforcement, the officer. Wow, that's crazy, man. Oh, I'm going to pop them bubbles all over. <laughs> hey, I got little hamsters. You got to be prepared. If you're prepared when they want you to be, you're late. So when they tell you the time is at 6, be ready at 3. If you're ready up. At 6, That's you're a late. fact. That's a fact. You know what, though? Speaking on that, basically, I mean, you know, we could go all day into this, but basically... Right now, the world is globalizing. So they, these people, whoever's in charge, the elites, like you were saying, mm -hmm. that got the influence, got the money, right? Facts. They've infiltrated every single aspect of life, corporations, religions, uh, media, of course, media. You know what I'm saying? Uh, anything, man, products that you buy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Schools, they, influence, they, they infiltrated the schools. So they have an agenda. We got to get wise to that agenda because if you ain't on that on that agenda, you basically, like you said, you ain't in the fold. Yeah. So what are they trying to do? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Are they going to get rid of get rid of you? If they can, yeah. not get rid of you because each individual is bad. it's worth money. Your social security number. If you take away the dots, you can see how much you're worth from your work history. Your proof oh, is crazy. right there. It's just yeah, that we don't pick up books to read. If, if you're going to play a game, whether it's basketball, football, hockey, or golf, you got to know the rules. Exactly. You get and you know what? The justice system, what do they tell you? It's no ignorance to the law. That's right. You can't say, I didn't know it wasn't a crime or whatever. You know what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. They're still going to throw the book at you because you committed the crime. Facts. You know? It's, it's the same thing. So basically, you got to, like you said, you got to stay ahead of them. You know what I mean? You got to know their agenda and stay ahead of it. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? That's the only way, man. That's the yep. only way. The grand surgeon. The grand surgeon's in the building. Yeah, and it's Saturday. Hi. Yeah, I say hi. Yeah. <laughs> Russia, Ukraine. Yeah. That huh? Russia, Russia, Ukraine. Russia versus Ukraine. Oh, I like Russia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he, he's doing the Donald Trump. I like the Trump people. So let's be honest. When we had Trump in office, Disclaimer. we had the most money we ever had in the history. It was no more of that block cheese, that that peanut butter in the can. It was real cash, oh. cash. He told us to go and own some companies. If your own That's company right. is building generational wealth, when you watch these guys now, they tell you money is evil. Don't get none. Without money, how can you live? That's back to slavery, where they want you to be. Exactly, at. exactly. Tell you directly what they want you to do. That so you don't think that Russia should pull out of Ukraine? Mm -hmm. uh, they already started. Why would you pull out? If you started something, you have to finish <laughs> it. Nobody wants a quitter. <laughs> you know what though? Too many people are dying, bro. I mean, not only Ukraine, Syria. I'm already in. It feels good. Hold on, I'm pull out. And I ain't even come yet. Yeah, but. <laughs> Yo, you know what it is though? Too many people are dying, bro. You know what I mean? So I don't like. You know, I don't agree with that. So you know. That's why he's saying that he's not going to win. He's already not going to win. And so he's just throwing them, you know, the, the, the sheep to the wolves, you know, because Ukraine is yeah. hard. Which, which They're he, fighting back. They're, yeah. Look, if somebody comes into your, like when we were younger, right? Mm -hmm. When we were younger, if, if it was a different thing because we used to knuckle up more, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So if you had some crew come in from another, from another area, another neighborhood, Right. And they didn't respect you, you know, what I'm saying and show respect. Then you had it, you know, you had to pop off because you don't want them coming in and out thinking they can run through shit. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. yeah. So it's the same thing. Russia going into Ukraine, you know, they, they ain't going to have that. They're going to fight back with all they got. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Their back's against the wall. Yeah, so, man. You know, I don't blame them, you know? It was, they was um, some punks, and then he well, ran up in there, go up in and there they was like, uh-uh, not my country. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. and, and they Look, start picking up. Seen... You got to fight, you got to fight. Yeah. And plus, they start blocking people from actually leaving the country at a certain age. Well, you, if right. So you have no choice. Right. You're going to fight or, or yeah, you're going to... So one of the two, yeah, and it's your country. You're supposed to fight. He let the women and children go. Yeah, women and children can go yeah. on because that's your future. And what the women, hey, but the men got to fight, and yeah. that's what's wrong with United States of America. What we go fight other that's people's true. battles. We don't fight our own. Oh. We don't take care of our own people. <laughs> hey, he want to roll. You know what though? <laughs> I'll tell you now. We don't. We quick to go someplace else. Arm and beer and tell them what to do on their land on their soil, and we still starving over here. Ribs are touching. Just look at the stimulus check. Every other country got two years of stimulus check up front. We still ain't get the third extended one. <laughs> huh? Am I lying? We got hit with it's the so it's, it's true though. Which yeah. is using machines in the hospital to kill people off because within 31 days you was guaranteed to die because certain machines yeah, they were giving people was oh, freezing up the flim in their chest. How are you going to beat anything if it's frozen in your chest and the whole thing for any virus is heat? Heat over 80 degrees kills it. Yeah, exactly. That's common sense. But yet exactly. you want to go in the hospital, check in, but you won't check out. Sound like gross. <laughs> It's true. And then they block in other treatment. You know what I'm saying? What's that about? Uh-huh. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What's and like you said, I'm not I'm not tooting Trump's horn, you know what I'm saying? But he did say people should be able to, you know, if they want to use a certain drug that isn't or, or or a medicine that other people don't use, that's on them. They, you know, if, if something happens to them, that's them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he's right to a degree, he's right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Definitely. And when it comes to cash, cash rules everything around me. So, you know what I mean? I want the old days back. I want the old days back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I, I just, and the pigs like assholes, everybody got one. Right. I, I think things would have been a lot different if Trump would have had a second term. Oh, yeah. That's just my opinion. Okay. All right. Um, I prefer the strong than the alcoholism. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, that one lost me too. Yeah. <laughs> All over the alcoholism. The yeah. crazy. He's talking about the crazy one. Oh, no. <laughs> Biden, uh-huh. is, and this is just my opinion, oh. reading the script more than any other president mm-hmm. and can't oh, yeah. stand up to defend us during this battle. Mm-hmm. It's a battle that we are ensuing or we should have been over there. This well, is going to turn on possibly. Over yes, we do. No, we don't. Yes, we do. In the UK? No, we don't have to. Oh, don't we got some troops somewhere mm-hmm. close by? No, or they giving we them- got five. We got five thousand troops in in Poland, right on the border. Yes, he's right. Yeah, we're getting. We're getting right. Right that's right, right next door. That's have, a half an hour away. Yeah, but we don't have. That's to right. Fighting, but that's because uh, Poland is a part of NATO, and so we're getting ready. But we not exactly. Hey, I um, think we're just enforcing. Like, don't come over here. Yeah, don't come yeah, over here with, with, that. Ukraine, but, with that. Yeah, like, but the way it looked like, and I watched it yesterday. Like I said, just my opinion. I watched a little bit yesterday. Mm-hmm. And it looks like Russia is going to conquer that land and try to get Poland and the other land, too. Anything that's connected, they're going to straight run through yeah, it if they don't to, step up. And, and this can cause... Uh, what is it? Uh, China or what is the other country that's with Russia right now? Iran. They waiting. Iran. They waiting. There's two, okay, two and, and talking about uh, destroying that building that got all that nuclear uh, weapon. I mean, um, what you call it? It's, it's nuclear power, right? It's nuclear yeah, yeah, power. Yeah, and it's, it's a noble, yeah. They're going to fry a lot of them 
and it's the individuals over there, which that can mess up the, the land mass, the air for at least over radiation, there. radiation, man. Mm -hmm. Radiation, that's right. Radiation affect them too, though. It's yeah. gonna affect that's everybody. Crazy. They're not gonna have the money to rebuild if they blow it up. Then they're being sanctioned. They're not gonna have the money to rebuild it all. So, right. so yeah. yeah. So think about it. If they if they're all about the global climate, right? Why are they why are they messing with this nuclear stuff? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Come on. We we're not stupid. Come on, we know what's going on, you know? Yeah. And if you look at the tactics that even Putin is using, mm -hmm. he's doing the same thing Hitler did in 1939. Yeah, he the is. same countries, the same, the same, he's steamrolling, you know what I'm saying? He's he's going from place to place. Mm -hmm. Soviet Union. That's what he, he right, did. right. They want to change the the, the hege hegemony of, of of the world from the West, from NATO and the United States. Yeah. They want to bring it back to Russia and China. Right. You know what I'm saying? So the most powerful. That's what that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? You know the deal. Yeah, yeah. man, it's going down. Yeah, it's going down. <laughs> we got to be we'll prepared see. for four times. I know you got your bunk already. Uh, <laughs> I'm stacking this dough. I'm, I'm stacking this dough. Holes right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm stacking this dough because it's going to take bread. It's going to take some land. Mm. It's going to take some underground tunnels in order to survive for the next 5, 10, 15 years. Yeah, you think it's going to be that? Grow your own food, man. Grow uh, your own food. My opinion, I think it can happen as soon as two years. Really? Okay. Because they're already it can happen at any moment. This is war. Mm -hmm. This is war. This ain't a maybe it might be. No, this is war. war. That's a war. World War Three. It's the first of many wars. Hey, it's a war. Once mm. you start something, this guy, as you can tell, he's not gonna just fall back. They're already talking about cutting his money, stopping the banks, the mm -hmm. same way they did homeboy uh Saddam Hussein. Mm -hmm. Same way. We're gonna stop everything, then we're gonna raid you, kill you, kill your family. Take everything you you built up and then turn your country into something that they really didn't want. Exactly. exactly. They've been doing this for years. They've been doing this for, for decades. Yeah, you they know what I mean? Islamic land and then turn it to Christian land. Nothing new under the sun. That's what they do. Uh -huh. <laughs> Nothing new underneath the sun at all. No. Everything is a rotation 365 degrees. Ridiculous. <laughs> 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 stuff that has not been mixed, tampered with in any shape, form, or fashion. Uh -huh. Now, how many books can we find that has not been tampered with? None. Mm -hmm. we, mm -hmm. we thought we knew, we coming to find out we didn't know nothing. Uh -huh. It's true, though. It's true. Oh, geez. That's right. It's Taking them to school and, now. Right, that's we got the grand surgeon up in a building. Yeah. Mr. Reggie has yeah. stepped up in the building yeah. as well. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, so it's yeah. going down. It's yeah. going down. The studio. We hey. got the triple, triple OG up in the building. Yeah. Yeah. What up? What up? What up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Young man. Doing well, yourself, brother. Yeah, I don't think he can see you. He can't see you. Wait, this way, this way. Yeah, slide. Yeah, we got a triple OG. Yeah, we, we, we tripling it up now. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, my man, respect, dude. Respect, yeah, dude. Up, to man. the OG. OG, yes, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. Knowledge yeah, is wisdom, power. Building politics. Yep. Yep. Music. Studio. Politics. Uh huh. Grand surgeon. Grand Reggie surgeon. Wolf. Reggie Rose. Reggie Jackson. What? And DJ Loudwire. Yeah, let's yeah. go. It's yeah. Saturday and it's high. It's we build it. Yeah. Right. Growing and growing. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's right. Each one, each one together, we built this great nation, yes. right? Yes. That's right. That's right, man. It's all about love, you know? If we're not unified, we, we can't stand, you know what I'm saying? Together we stand, divided we fall. That's facts. You know what I'm saying? Talk to each other, you know, figure out what's going on, air out your differences, you know? I'm sure as human beings, we could come to common ground. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. It's for the children. It's for the, it's for the future of the children, man. All that old stuff. We got to change that, man. We got to, we got to put that behind us, bro. Yeah. Cause it ain't, 
that that's that's old garbage you know what i'm saying we're beyond that we passed that so you know we hanging on to that stuff it ain't gonna it ain't gonna help nobody you know what i'm trying to say that's true we just gotta build together man coming from the era that you come from and still dropping this hot music and keeping up with the youngsters mm -hmm. how do you yourself uh make that connection with the youth well basically like i said it's not only the music it's the concepts what you're speaking about what you you know the the writing what you're saying mm -hmm. you know you have to stay relevant you have to know what's going on around you at all times right. you know what i'm saying so when you start speaking upon things that they they're interested in or that affect their life you know what i'm saying they respect that so that you know it catches on you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so you just got to stay relevant you got you got to be in the now you know what i mean that so that's how i that's my that's how i do it you know what i'm saying you what advice I mean? do you have for uh, an up and coming, <coughs> excuse me, artist to you know to to get the long never journey. give up, yeah. never give up. What what <laughs> what you have in your heart, you know what I'm saying? You are your heart, you are your mind. So never give up, no matter what anybody tells you. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I've been in this for, for so many years, I can't even count. Them. So you know what I'm saying? I'm not where I want to be. You know what I'm saying? but i'm there already you know what i'm trying to say uh -huh. yeah. so you just never give up don't let people people break your break your energy you know what i'm saying don't let them get in your way yeah, you know what i'm saying roll over them when they get in your way roll over them mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying just be you and do you you know yeah. what i'm saying but always have respect for other people because what goes around comes around yeah. you know what i'm saying when you go up you come back down always remember that yeah. So you know that that that's what I would say. You know what I mean? Keep it real. Now Just keep it real. Yeah. Yeah. Leave your egos at the door. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take it off. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's, right. Dude, that's that's the real. Yeah, it's true. That's what's up. That's what's up. So. Yep. That's what's up. That's what's up. We're building. You know. That's what they need to do. These young people. Uh -huh. Instead of Instead of talking about this nonsense and that nonsense, get together, man. Just, you know, get together and build. Talk about things that, that mean something in life. You know what I'm trying to say? It's yeah. good to have fun and party and, you know, talk your, talk your, you know, talk your talk, but be intelligent. You know, that was the difference. I'm going to go back to what you asked me before uh -huh. about the old school to the new school. Yeah. See, to me, MCs had to be intelligent back then. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. I'm not saying that they're not intelligent now, but it's in a different aspect. It's more of a business. You know what I mean? Back right. then, we used to write intelligent. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's the difference. I got that's what that's what I would say is the difference between the past and now. That's you know what I'm saying? Message. Yeah. Now, are we going to receive from you an EP, an LP, an album? And what are people going to receive, man? Uh -huh. An EP, an EP is coming first, and mm -hmm. then we'll okay. build the album. You know what I'm trying to say? Okay. So, yeah. so you know, keep keep tuned to the to the Grand Surgeon, aka Big Surge. That's what's up. They tell me oh, Grand Surgeon. That sounds old school. All right, call me Big Surge then. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Whatever it is, you know. Yeah, grand I like both of them. I like I both of them. Too. I like oh, yeah, that. yeah. Both of them got played. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What do so, you want to tell the fans out there, Grand Surgeons? What's up, my brother? What you want to tell your fans out there? Just keep tuned in. You know what I'm saying? Listening to Livewise Radio, my music will be flowing out of there. And yeah. you know what? Hit up the Instagram. Share share some of my music. You know what I'm saying? The more you give me, the more I could give back to you. That's you know what I'm saying? So that's how I look at it. You know what I'm saying? It's an interaction. You know what I mean? You Are you on TikTok? TikTok? Nah, I don't really mess with TikTok. Oh, you got to I don't know. It's just, it's. It, I don't know. Maybe because it's like, it's like less than a minute. So, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's I don't know. Yeah. 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 The revenue yeah. is great, man. Yeah, your music is up yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, and your yeah. music is there too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. But that's you know, people that like the music post it. I don't really go on TikTok. You know what I'm saying? 
So, you know, but I'm going to try it, though, you know. Yeah. Thanks for the advice. I'm going to try it, yeah. Right. See what happens with it. It's, it's beneficial, you know. I've, I was only on there for a short time, and, you know, using your music and utilizing your music and getting those TikTokers mm -hmm. um, familiar with your, your sounds and stuff like that, you know, and they make you go. Right, and, right. It, they can reuse it, but TikTok will pay you for, you know, your catalog that's on there. So it, it's just right. dropping your dollar if you don't utilize it. Appreciate that. It's yeah, that's long. that's true. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. I like I like the energy. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad you just had me on here, man. Yeah, you know? we glad to have you. Yeah, I'll yeah. Do I said, y'all are too costly. One last shout out. One last shout out before we close. Sure. Yo, I just want to say peace to my crew, Supreme Team in the UK, my man LG Rock. You know what I'm saying? Peace Ways. We're coming out with another, a second album to the two witnesses, the one I was telling you about. That should be coming out. Uh, shout out Cuddy Ranks. We're going to be doing that video for the Bad Boys track. Mm -hmm. uh shout out my man spoonie g you know what i'm saying everybody bro everybody that rocks with the grand surgeon peace and love you know what i'm saying support me share me hit me up you know what i'm saying let's get busy let's do this you know what i'm saying yeah, appreciate good. everything yeah. we appreciate you man yeah, we do. yeah one special drop dj live wires rain jackson live wires radio show yo this is the grand surgeon and right now you're rocking with dj live wires and Rain Jackson in the building. You know what I'm saying? You heard? Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, my allergies. Don't you go right nowhere. Here. We Don't got a whole nowhere. lot more coming up. Yes. We just finished kicking it with the grand surgeon. Yes, sir. Yeah, and I got specialness uh -huh. for you. You don't want to miss it. Yeah. Live Wire Radio, So Serious TV, the best of both worlds. Yeah, stay tuned for that collab. We got Reggie it. Rose up in the building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reggie Rose, peace out, my man. Yeah, that's what's up. All right, peace and love. Y'all uh, uh, keep in touch, okay? Y'all come peace back. Peace and love. Yeah.